This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. kangaroo rats? Well, because they look like little kangaroos hopping across the road in your headlights. Yes, they hop. They can, in fact, hop a distance of six feet, nine feet on a good day. This remarkable rodent can even change direction mid-hop. They are bipedal, meaning they use two feet instead of all four. They are four-toed little beasts with big hind legs, small front legs, and relatively large heads. The tails of kangaroo rats are longer than both their bodies and their heads. Another notable feature of kangaroo rats are their fur-lined cheek pouches, which are used for storing food. Their coloration varies from cinnamon buff to dark gray, depending on the species. The Ord kangaroo rat, found in the western half of Kansas, is cinnamon buff. They are rarely seen during the day, burrowing in sandy soil till nightfall, when they appear to be food for nearly every other creature on the plains. Coyotes, foxes, badgers, weasels, owls, and every slithering snake imaginable feast on the little fellers. Since they primarily feed on seeds, they gather as many as they can and stuff them into their little pouches. Thus, they spend their time outside the burrow gathering and hoarding and wait till they get back to the nest to begin digesting their haul. They do not need much water, instead breaking down seeds with their metabolism making them ideal survivors in the arid landscapes of the high plains. They can also conserve water by lowering their metabolic rate, which reduces loss of water through their skin and respiratory system. Another fascinating feature of these little guys is their complex burrow system. The burrows have separate chambers for specific purposes like sleeping, living, and food storage. The spacing of the burrows depends on the number of kangaroo rats and the abundance of food. Kangaroo rats also live in colonies that range from six to several hundred dens. The burrow of a kangaroo rat is important in providing protection from the harsh desert environment. To maintain a constant temperature and relative humidity in their burrows, kangaroo rats plug the entrances with soil during the day. When the outside temperature is too hot, a kangaroo rat stays in its cool, humid burrow and leaves it only at night. To reduce loss of moisture through respiration when sleeping, a kangaroo rat buries its nose in its fur to accumulate a small pocket of moist air. The next time you see the buff-colored little rodent crossing the road, you might take a moment to marvel at what an interesting little creature he is. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elf they just bagged or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley. <laughs>